FoamPaw Video Converter Ultimate is an all-in-one toolbox to convert, edit, compress, and merge videos. Let's see how to use it. In the main interface, there are five different modules for you. Video and Audio Converter, Ripper, MV Maker, Video Collage, and Toolbox. Besides, after you get the registration code, just move up to the menu and click here to register your account. Select the Converter section. You can click the plus button or click Add Files in the upper left corner to add files or folders. You can also drag and drop them directly into the main window. Click Convert All to to set the output format uniformly. For video, all regular output formats are listed, such as MP4, MKV, AVI, 4K, etc. For audio, MP3, AAC, WAV, etc. are supported. There are also video presets for portable devices, including Apple, Samsung, Huawei, LG, Sony, etc. Also, you can click on this gear icon to customize the desired parameters. Select the output format you need. If you want to set different output formats for different files, you can do so by clicking on here. When finished, click Save to to select the output folder. If you think the video is too large to output, click here to compress it before exporting. Click Gear, choose Convert and change the maximum number of conversion tasks to improve speed. Click here to merge the video clips into one. Finally, choose Convert All to Stair Conversion. When finished, go to Converted section and choose Open Folder to check the converted files. Add a video and click Cut. Drag the cutter or directly enter Start and Stop Times. Click Add Segment to add the current clip to the list. You can also click Fast Split to split the current clip by average or by a specified time. Select here to add a fade in or fade out effect. When finished, click Save. Click Edit to do basic editing for your video. Rotate and crop your video, add effects and filters, add a watermark, adjust the audio track and add subtitles to the video. You can rotate and crop the video, drag and drop the border to adjust the aspect ratio of the video, or select what you want here. Select Effect and Filter, here you can adjust the video's contrast, saturation, brightness, and hue. Or directly select a filter you want here. Moreover, you can add an exclusive watermark to your video. You can add text like this. Choose the font, size, and color. And then drag it to desired place. Or directly add an image to it. Select Audio. Click here to disable the original track, then select plus icon to add the audio you like. Adjust the volume or add audio delay effects as needed. You can click the plus sign to import the subtitle file. Or click the search button to download the subtitle file you need. After adding subtitles, adjust the settings as needed and click OK to return to the main interface. The Ativand features in the toolbox can be accessed directly without entering from the Edit section. Select Media Metadata Editor. Now click the plus button to add the file. You can edit metadata information such as title, artist, etc. When finished, click Save. Select Video Compressor. Click the plus button to add a file. You can adjust the size, format, and resolution of the output file. Click Preview. Finally, click Compress to start compression. Select GIF Maker, you can add video or multiple photos to convert. Next, click Cut 
or edit to do the basic editing. Finally, set the output size and frame rate. When finished, click Generate GIF. Select Video Enhancer to improve the video quality. Click the plus button to add the video. You can choose to upscale the resolution, optimize brightness and contrast, remove video noise, and reduce video jitter. Set the output format and resolution. If needed, you can click cut to edit the video. Once all settings are done, you can preview the effect. Click Enhance to output the video. Select Video Watermark. Click plus icon to add the video. You can choose to add more than one text or image watermark at the same time. Set the effect of the watermark according to your needs. After that, you can rename the file and set the output format and resolution. When finished, press Export. Select Color Correction. Feel free to adjust contrast, saturation, brightness, hue. If you are not satisfied with the effect, you can also reset it with one click. When finished, press Export. Select Video Speed Controller. Click the plus sign to add the video. You can choose from 0.125x speed to 8x speed. When finished, press Export. Other tools like Video Trimmer, Merger, Cropper, Volume Booster, etc., are still worthy of discovery. Navigate to the MV tab, click the plus button, or drag the media files or folders into the MV Maker. Next, you can click Edit to rotate and crop, add effects, filters, and watermarks, or adjust the audio. Please skip to their detailed tutorial by the timestamps below. Click Trim to trim and save the video clips you need. Select the MV themes you want. Click Setting to add the start and end title to your MV. You can disable the video's original sound and add new music to the video. Add a fade in or fade out effect. Before exporting, you can set the name, format, frame rate, resolution, quality, and saving path of the video. When finished, click Start Export. Choose Collage. Templates vary in size and shape. Choose the one you want. Here you can choose the usual aspect ratio of the video or click Custom and Others to customize it. Then set the border type, color, and image. Next, add a preset filter to the whole collage. You can choose more than 50 filters. Click Audio. Add the background music you like and adjust the volume. You can set the play mode to loop play, fade in, or fade out. Rename the file, set the video format, frame rate, resolution, quality, and save path. When finished, click Start Export. Go to the menu and click Preference. In the General Preferences window, you can select the subtitle and audio language you want. Enable Hardware GPU Acceleration to speed up the conversion. Go to Convert, you can set the saving path of output video and screenshot. Besides, you can change the maximum number of conversion tasks to improve the speed. For the MV, Collage and Toolbox tabs, you can decide whether to change their saving path. When finished, you can choose whether to shut down, sleep, or exit the computer. That's all. Give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more.